The most important thing when dealing with an aggressive rabbit is not to get aggressive with them. Stay above the emotion they are displaying. So keep calm and speak kindly. Don't take their behaviour personally. They don't hate you. They are unhappy with the current situation and need your help, not your hostility. Most aggressive rabbits are either hormonally driven, where neutering or spaying is the answer, or the aggression is actually masking the fact that they are feeling insecure and afraid. They are in fight or flight mode in reaction to a perceived threat in their environment. It can be very upsetting and quite frightening when dealing with an aggressive rabbit. They have sharp teeth and claws, but it is important to always approach them with a calm and confident energy. Otherwise, they're going to pick up on your anxiety and nervous energy, and it's going to make the aggression ten times worse. So what do you do when dealing with an aggressive rabbit? Well, if the rabbit has been spayed or neutered for at least a few months, it takes quite a while for the hormones to settle after spaying or neutering, and if they've had a fully vet exam and there are no illnesses or injuries present, remember being prey animals, rabbits hide their illnesses very well, then we can assume the cause of the aggression is emotional, and we need to work with them and reassure them that this is a safe place where they have nothing to fear. Now, before you interact with an aggressive rabbit, you should, number one, emotionally prepare yourself. So make sure your energy is calm and confident and consciously have kind thought towards the thoughts towards the bunny. Number two, be prepared. Wear freshly washed, thick clothes and gloves if needed. Especially make sure your legs and feet are well covered. Rabbit's teeth can bite through thin layers of clothing and believe me, it hurts. Number three, if you're not wearing gloves, then make sure you have freshly washed hands. The scent of strange rabbits or other animals can exasperate the aggression or sometimes even be the cause of the aggression. Number four, start speaking to the rabbit before approaching them or entering their area. Let them know you're there and that it is you who is there. Number five, approach the rabbit slowly, speaking calmly and kindly. If they charge at you straight away, withdraw from the area swiftly but calmly and try sitting outside their territory where you are still close to them but not in their personal space. Continue talking to them and concentrating on meeting a calm and steady energy. If they do tolerate you being in their territory, keep quite still and speak to them for a while before trying to touch them. When you do approach them to pat them, do so with slow hand movements and approach them with your hand to the side of their head. Rabbits have limited vision directly in front of their face and you may startle them if you approach them from this front on angle. Number six, gently place your hand on the top of their head for a few seconds and then remove it, observing the non-verbal signs the rabbit is giving you as to if they are comfortable with you touching them or not. If they have their head tilted upwards, nose swiftly sniffing, ears stiff and eyes alert, or if they are growling, snorting or rumbling, they may be telling you, back off, I'm not sure I'm okay with this. And if you don't observe these signs, they may lunge at you and bite your hand. If, however, they have their head in a straightforward position, nose slowly sniffing, ears relaxed and eyes slowly blinking or staring off into another direction, then they are most likely okay with you touching them. And you can repeat the process a few times. And remember to all the time be reassuring them with calm and quiet speech. I found it to be really important to provide a safe area for an aggressive rabbit. This is a place in their enclosure where they can retreat to when feeling threatened that they know you will never try to access. Make sure it's somewhere that you can access in case you need to get to the rabbit in the event they injure themselves, for example, but never actually intrude on that space unless it's such an event. This will be a place that they can own entirely, without worry, and that they can retreat to for as long as they require. This space can be a cave made out of a table and blankets or a cardboard box, for example. There are many things that will work, but you must remember that whatever you choose must have multiple entry and exit points. We don't want to create a situation where the rabbit feels trapped, as this will only make matters worse. I used this for Little Button, who is the latest addition to my bunny family, when he first came to me and was nervous and unsure. To start with, he spent most of his time in his safe area. But now, some months later, he hardly flees to his safe place at all, apart from when the vacuum cleaner comes out. Now, if you're struggling with being able to clean your rabbit space due to their aggressive behaviour, then I suggest always changing their litter boxes and doing the cleaning at the same time you feed them. So place their food at the opposite side of the area to where you need to be. You can also petition the part of the room they are eating in with something like a puppy pen while you access the rest of the area. 
One reason I don't like small rabbit hutches or cages is because you can't really do any of the things I've just spoken about. With a small cage, the only way you can interact with your rabbit physically is by reaching into their space and lifting them out. Um, the action of doing this can easily lead to a feeling of insecurity about their own territory, which will result in aggression towards any hand reaching into their cage, whether the intention is to feed them or pick them up. The hand becomes a threat, the enemy, and as it is attached to your body, so do you. And if you consider the action of reaching into a rabbit's cage and lifting them out from a rabbit's point of view, then you can see that this is similar to a predator dragging them out of their burrow, the likelihood of which means they're going to be eaten, which is quite terrifying. No wonder they feel threatened. And although your bunny has most likely never experienced this firsthand, those primal instincts, as I've mentioned in another video, are still strong and a big driving force for your bunny and his behaviour. Now, if your bunny is in a small cage at the moment, then number one, it's well worth walking, working towards a more suitably sized enclosure for them. And number two, while you are working towards that goal, in the meantime, let your bunny come to you on his or her terms. Perhaps you could secure a puppy pen around the perimeter of the cage. That way the cage door can be open to let the rabbit come out when they want to. You can sit inside the puppy pen and let the rabbit approach you and they may not do this or even come out of their cage for quite a few sessions, but it is worth persevering with. When the rabbit does approach you, remain still and calm and let them sniff you and explore without you touching them. Just speak softly, calmly and kindly to them. Number three, keep repeating this process on a regular basis to build up their confidence and gain their trust. That way they will learn you are not a threat, but a friend. You must commit to giving the whole process of dealing with a, and rehabilitating an aggressive rabbit time. Patience and time are paramount and the process won't work without them. It can be a difficult process, both emotionally and physically, but it is well worth the effort. It can be so rewarding and joyful when that scared, aggressive little soul starts becoming the loving, confident, happy little bundle you knew they could be and that you invested so much effort into finding. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.